Hey friends, it is Jen of Pretty Chicks Invest, and I want to come in and talk to you guys about a couple of ways that you can level up your business. Now, what I want to go ahead and share with you is I want to talk about a couple of free ways and a couple of paid ways, because we have to be honest. Yes, you can start your business for free, but to keep your business up and running and maintained, you have to put in some type of money investment. Let's get into it. So here are some free ways. So some free ways to level up, level up your brand, level up your business is to write down a content strategy that is consistent, right? Your brand can become more known, more stable, more out there as long as you can promise consistency. Now, I'm not saying promise consistency on the level of Gary Vee where he's talking about put out 120 uh, pieces of content a day. I'm literally saying sit down and write out what are you going to be talking about for the next month the next three months, the next six months. Now it is a little bit, especially when you're brand new, it's a little bit more harder to get out content or schedule content way out for a whole six months, but definitely at least get down a full month of content. Like for example, for me, I already have two months worth of content already set up and um, written out to be prepared to be created. So one thing you can do is create a content schedule. The next thing you can do is you need to clarify your why and start inserting it everywhere, okay? You need to have a tagline. For those of you guys who have my 50-point checklist for the brand new business owner, look for it in the link in the description below, okay? Look for the link. You should already know what your tagline is. We already had this discussion, okay? But you need to be figuring out your why and starting to share people what's your why, right? Literally, that should be your tagline that should be your elevator speech where you tell people who you are who you help how you help that's all they need to know and then the next thing you can do is you can build a community build a tribe whether it's three people or whether it's a hundred people a tribe is great to have because these are people who are interested in the same things that you're interested in i have fb and mu because you can start a facebook group that's a free way to start. And Meetup, it's not free, but it's a $10 investment. And it can end up being free because you can actually have your members pay a free where they actually cover the cost of the monthly group. All right. So the next things are some pays way to le paid ways to level up your brand. Now, a photo shoot. A photo shoot would be awesome for your brand, for your businesses, because a lot of times, sometimes you're running around, you're handling business, and when people may see you, you may not present or represent your business to the best of their your ability. But if you get a photo shoot and you have your website or site set up or your Instagram set up and people see, whoa, this person looks awesome, they look presentable, they look well put together, well, that's what a photo shoot helps you to do or a headshot helps you to do it. It helps you to present professionalism. So don't sleep on getting a photo shoot. You definitely want to look into it. The next thing I would recommend for you to do is buy your own merch so you can wear your own merch. Even if you're not selling merch, right? You can still buy a shirt with your website on it. Buy a shirt with your logo on it. Buy a hoodie with your logo on it. You want to be representing yourself. The next thing you want to do is create sinking funds specifically for two things for your for costs that are going to be coming up in your business and for your marketing strategy, right? All marketing strategy cannot be free. A lot of marketing strategy, you have to think, I need to pay to play. I need to pay for my content to be put out there. I need to pay for my event to be advertised. I need to pay for somebody to shout me out. So what I would do if I were you, say if you plan to drop your book in, you know, three months from now, six months from now, I literally would create a fund where it's, you put away monthly or weekly so you can get enough money to put behind your launch, right? So you need to think about creating a sinking fund. Say, for example, you're going to do a launch and you want to spend $500 promoting it, okay? And you're going to do it from January to June. Well, you need to figure out how much do I need to put away from January to June to come up with $500 so that I can promote this event or I can promote this book or I can promote this piece of content, okay? So create a sinking fund. And the last but not least, I would recommend or I would suggest for you to throw an event. Now, throw the event can be twofold. It can be an in-person event or it can be online event. And you're like, Jim, well, why would an online event cost? Well, an online event may cost because say if you want to create um, packets or you want to create a workbook or a guide and you want to print it out, it's going to cost, right? And say if you do an in-person event, 
actually food and the place 